Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. What is the smell? What is the smell? I'm feeling hungry. I'm just one more. Mommy, the lunch? Can you see my face? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, eat the lunch? Yeah, I had I had my lunch. Ma'am, you're going to go. My face, dear children? I cannot see you, ma'am. I can't see you. Ma'am, I cannot see you, ma'am. Ma'am, I can see you. Ma'am, I can see you. I can see you. Ma'am, I can see you. Ma'am, I can see you. Ma'am, I can see you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So now, listen, children. Can you please mute your devices so that we can avoid disturbance? Ma'am, your voice. No. Ma'am, your voice. No. Is it okay now? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Then give me your cute smile. Then we can begin the class. Oh, this is afternoon session. I know that some are feeling a bit lazy. Can we stand up? Please stand up, everybody. <laughs> Hands up. Hands down. Hands up, dear children. Hands up. Hands down. Sit down. Sit down. Stand up. <laughs> okay, enough, 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 enough. Enough. Good afternoon. Sit down, sit down, sit down. So now listen, children. What all things we have discussed in the previous class? Do you remember? Hmm? I'm types of I did not attend that. I'm types of maps. Types. Oh, so types of maps we of have explained in the class. Can anybody tell me what are the three types of maps? Political maps. Political maps. Political maps. Political maps. Political maps. All together. Okay, do one thing. Here, ma'am is asking the question one by one. Abel. Abel, what are the three types of maps that we have Political discussed in the map, class? Yes. Map. Political map, physical map, and thematic map. Okay, very good. Now, my next question. What important features of map? Who can say the answer? Ma that also Ma we Maria. Okay, Anne Maria. Title, scale. Title, key. Scale, scale, direction, direction greet. Greet. Oh. greet, greet. Okay, then that we have discussed about globe. Okay, globe from where did the word globe comes? Latin word, globe. Latin word, Not everyone, not everyone. Gauri Nandana, tell me the word globe comes from the Latin word. Ma'am, I did not attend that class. Oh, you were not there. Ma'am, Arpan. Ah, okay, Arpan, tell me. Yeah, it's word globus. What is the meaning of globus? Sphere or something is round. Sphere or something? <laughs> it's round. Round, okay, okay. Then, uh, Ail, I don't, please unmute and say, what is the three-dimensional model of the Earth? Globe. Very good. Uh, what is the two-dimensional drawing of the earth? Map. map. Also, we have explained about the differences between map and globe in the class. Do you remember the differences between map and globe? Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. I will share the screen. Then you can read the differences. Okay. One minute. Ma'am, I know the differences. Yeah. Ma'am, I know the differences. 
good afternoon yeah good afternoon who's um, talking ma'am we have to write no need to write can you see the board ma'am the ma'am the letters are not clear the letters are not clear Ah, that's okay. okay. That's okay. okay. This is about features of map title. Anyway, we have already completed this, and uh, the word globe comes from the Latin word globus, means a sphere or something that is round. A globe is a three-dimensional model of the Earth. It's uh, it is shaped like the Earth and shows how the Earth look like. Then next. How does it? Excuse me, ma'am. How does the globe help us to study the Earth? It is easy to understand okay. the shapes okay. of continents and water bodies. Ma'am, one minute, ma'am. I have to make sure I cannot see the board. That's it, ma'am. How does a globe help us to study the Earth? It is easier to understand the shapes of continents and water bodies on a globe. It is easy to understand the shapes of continents and water bodies on a globe. The next point: the positions of places and the distances between them are also accurately shown. Anyway, we have discussed all those points. Here, ma'am is going to share the differences between map and globe. So let me read all the points. A map. Um, we can see. We can see the whole Earth at a time. We can see the whole Earth at a time. The drawing of a place on Earth on a flat surface. It can provide a detailed information. A map can provide a detailed information about a place. Okay. If it is a small place, if it is a small town, small city. in a through a map we can provide the detailed information about that particular place but it cannot be used to study the rotation and the revolution of the earth why you know the rotation and do you know you have already studied in your third fourth standards what is rotation the earth itself rotate on its own axis it takes 24 hours that means one day that's why we get day and the night we have due to the rotation of the earth we are experiencing day and the night and you have already heard about a revolution it take one year to make a round around the sun sun, sun. that is revolution so this rotation and the revolution we cannot show on a map but it can be easily shown on a, it can be used to study through a globe why through a globe can rotate on on an axis and so it can be used to study the rotation and the revolution of the earth globe is easy to study but map is easy to carry globe is difficult to carry a uh, henry muter device too much disturbance second here and a globe shows only one part of the earth at a time while on a map we can see the whole earth at a time a small model of the earth the globe is a small model of the earth which shows us what the earth look like what the earth look like it does not provide detailed information as it shows the whole earth then a globe can rotate on an axis and so can be used to study the rotation and revolution of the earth and it is difficult to carry okay now today we are going to learn the important all these points we have already discussed in our previous class okay so uh, we can learn the important points and the lines on a globe Are you ready? The important um, yes, points and the lines on a globe. Excuse me, ma'am. Who is that? Sarah Rose. What happened, Sarah? 
um uh, did you give the notes for this lesson yeah definitely i will but not now by evening uh, let me reach home then after that i'll send not so uh, did you already give some notes before no 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 Okay. Today we are going to learn important lines and points on a globe. The first pole, the north and the south poles. Do you know what is north pole and the south pole? They are the two ends of the Earth's axis. The north pole is at the top, and the bot south pole is at the bottom of a globe. Look at the picture. We are going to learn the important points and the lines, important points and the lines on a globe. Can you see the North Pole? What is this? They are the two ends of Earth's axis. One is at the top of the globe, and the other one is at the bottom of the globe. What we can say at the top of the globe? Say. north pole north so everybody north pole. North, pole. north pole what is at the bottom of the globe south pole south pole south pole, south pole. South pole. South pole. South. and now the next is the equator the equator say so everybody the equator 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 do you understand is an equator it is an imaginary line that runs that line drawn around the middle of a globe imaginary line drawn around the middle of a globe and they divide it into two equal parts divide it into two equal parts, parts or hemispheres this is a new word you are hearing two equal parts or hemispheres Can you repeat after me? Hemispheres. 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 Okay. Hemispheres. Here is the North Pole. Here is the North Pole. What is at the top? Top of the globe. North Pole. North Pole. North Pole. North Pole. North Pole. At the bottom of the globe. North Pole. North Pole. North Pole. What is at the bottom of the globe? North Pole. North Pole. North Pole. North Pole. North Pole. Bottom that is South Pole and the top that is North Pole. North Pole. North Pole. Can you see the board properly? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Electrician gone. Ma'am, I'm the autism. I'm the gone. Ma'am, gone because electrician. City gone. Anyone in the host? Ma'am, come. Ma'am, 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 ma'am. Sir, our sister host. Anyone in the host room? Sir, our host. Sir, our host in the host. Yes. Yes.
Ma'am Kim? No. No? No. No, I can hear. No. I can hear. No. Are you little that? No. Are you little that? Did ma'am take any notes before I am? Ma'am, keep. Ma'am, keep. So there was a power failure, dear children. Okay. Okay, let us continue. We are talking about the important points and the lines on a globe. Okay. What is at the top of the globe? Tell me. What is the imaginary line drawn around? Equator. Around the middle of the Equator. 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 Okay. Now, ma'am is going to share this. Wait. 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 Can you see the board? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, what is this children? The two ends of the earth axis, one is at the top and the other one is at the bottom. What is on the top? Okay, then what is the what is the equator? Okay, what is the equator? The imaginary line drawn around the around, what, the, around the middle of the globe. Middle of the globe to divide into two equal parts. Divide into two equal parts. 
The known the equator. What I mean, mute your device. Everybody mute your device. So much disturbance from your devices. Then only I can continue the class. The. Are we mute your device? Ida. Hey, Bell, mute your device. इमेजिनरी लाइन ड्रोन अराउंड द मिडिल ऑफ अ ग्लोब एंड डिवाइड इट इन टू टू इक्वल पार्ट और हेमस्फियर्स इक्वल पार्ट और Hemispheres. Hemisphere. Hemispheres. Okay. The north of the equator is the northern hemisphere. The north no, of the no, equator no, is the no, northern, northern hemisphere. Northern hemisphere. Is it clear? Then tell me the south of south of the equator. Southern hemisphere. Southern hemisphere. Southern hemisphere. Not southern. Southern. Southern hemisphere. Southern hemisphere. Northern hemisphere. Okay. Listen. The equator is an imaginary line drawn around the middle of the globe to divide it into two equal parts. one towards to the north the other part towards to the south south okay the north of the equator is known as the tell me north hemisphere north hemisphere okay the south of okay below the equator to the south is called the southern, southern hemisphere. hemisphere southern hemisphere then we can study the next point on a globe I'm is going to explain the tropic of Cancer and the tropic of, tropic Capricorn. of Capricorn. Any guess? Any idea? No. See, the two no, imaginary no, no. lines drawn around the globe on either side of the equator. On either side of the equator. Now you can see equator the dark blue color. Can you see the equator? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma'am, it's white. Ah, yeah, the dark violet color. Okay, the Tropic of Cancer is in which hemisphere? Tell me, Tropic of Cancer. Northern hemisphere. Northern hemisphere. Northern hemisphere. Northern hemisphere. Tropic of Cancer in northern hemisphere. Northern hemisphere. Then Tropic of Capricorn in which northern hemisphere. Northern hemisphere. Tropic of Cancer. That yellow line. Okay, that is. Henry, are you there in the class? Now say the answer. The tropic of Cancer is in which hemisphere? Northern or southern? Northern we can speak? hemisphere. Northern hemisphere. Then the tropic of Capricorn in which hemisphere? Northern hemisphere or a southern hemisphere? Southern. Southern hemisphere. Now can you see one red color dark line? At the center of the globe, imaginary North vertical North line. Pole. South pole. The imaginary pole vertical pole. line from the North Pole to the South Pole. What is this? Prime meridian. Prime meridian. Prime meridian. What is this red line from North Pole to the Prime South? What? Prime meridian. Prime meridian. Prime meridian. Imaginary vertical line. Prime meridian is the imaginary vertical, vertical line, line from the North Pole to the South Pole. South Pole. Clear? From the North yes. Pole to the South, South Pole. Pole. Is it clear? Yes. 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 Next. Can you see the prime meridian? Yes. Okay. Tell me what is prime meridian? Red line or yellow line? Red line. Red, line. red line red line that means the imaginary vertical line from the north pole to the south pole 
that is prime meridian Then what is siberian what is siberian what is siberian no i didn't get you ma'am he is saying siberian prime meridian you need to learn only prime meridian okay equator and prime meridian i hope you can see very clearly in this picture right yes ma'am yes ma'am vertical line from the north pole to the south pole what is that vertical line not a horizontal line prime meridian prime meridian prime meridian prime meridian prime meridian okay and imagine a vertical line from the north pole to the south pole there is an imaginary line on the other side of the prime meridian that is known as 180 degree meridian okay these two lines divide a globe into eastern and western hemisphere the side eastern eastern and western hemisphere okay eastern and western this prime meridian divide the globe into eastern eastern hemisphere and western, western hemisphere western hemisphere and western, western hemisphere. hemisphere hemisphere have you all understood yes ma'am no equate the globe into which all hemispheres North and hemisphere, and southern hemisphere. Okay, then prime meridian divides the globe into eastern hemisphere, western hemisphere, and eastern hemisphere. And eastern hemisphere. How do you feel? Easy? Yes. Do you feel easy? What is one eighty degree? That is the other side. One eighty degree um, meridian means there is another imaginary line on the other side of the globe. Okay, other side of the globe. That is one eighty degree meridian. Okay, is it clear? Abel, mute your device. Okay, once again we can watch. Today we are we have learned about the important lines and points on a globe. I have you all understood what is the north and the south pole? What is yes. the north and south? Yes. Ah, oh, tell me. They are the two two ends of the Earth's axis. Okay. Yes. One is at the top, and the other uh, one is at the bottom. Bottom. So tell me what is at the top. North pole. Tell what is at the bottom. South pole. South pole. What is the equator? That we studied the imaginary line drawn around the middle, the middle of the globe. Okay, okay. Equator divided two parts. The globe into two parts. What are they? No. North hemisphere and the south hemisphere. North hemisphere. Okay. Prime divides the globe into two hemispheres. Tell me, eastern hemisphere. Okay, tell me, the topic of Capricorn is which hemisphere? Um, no. Southern, northern, northern hemisphere. The topic of Capricorn is which hemisphere? Southern hemisphere. Southern hemisphere. Okay, what is the vertical line from the north pole to the south pole? Prime meridian. Prime meridian. Prime meridian. Prime meridian. Prime what meridian. is the what is the horizontal imaginary imaginary line that is drawn around the middle of the globe? Siberia. Equator. Equator. Okay. Equator. Okay. Equator. Divide the globe into two parts. What are they? Northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. Equator divides the globe into two parts. What are they? Northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. Northern hemisphere. Okay. Primary divides into which all hemispheres? 
Okay, okay. I'll share one video. I hope everybody understood today's topic. So we have learned about the different points on a globe. Okay, the important lines and points on a globe. What all things we have learned today? North Pole, South Pole, South the Pole, center of the globe, equator, and topic of ah, uh, topic of Cancer towards the northern hemisphere, southern hemisphere, tropical of Cancer in the northern hemisphere, and tropic of Capricorn in the southern hemisphere. And what is the imaginary vertical line from? North Pole to the South Pole. Prime meridian. Prime. Prime meridian divides the globe into which hemispheres? East. 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 East.